Hi, this is Andrea Elias, and we are in a swine farm in southern Manitoba. I've been managing this farm for eight years, and we grow and breed breeding stock for other farms. These pigs that you see behind me are gonna go be mothers at other farms in the community and also in Eastern Canada and some maybe even to the US. Pigs throughout their lives are called a few different things. So a female pig is called a gilt. And then when she has her first litter of piglets, that is when she becomes a sow. So when they're born, right up till they're about three weeks old, they're called a piglet. And in three weeks, when they get weaned from their mom, they're called a weanling. The males are called a boar until they have been castrated. So once they've been castrated, they're called a barrow. And the reason that the boars are castrated is that they're less aggressive as they grow. They grow faster. They've got a little bit more body fat and that makes it a more tasty product. They become a meat product. We are in the breeding barn. This is where it all starts. This is the barn where the sow become pregnant. The average weight of a sow would be between 350, 450 pounds. And I'd say she's probably pretty close to uh, 400. This here would probably be the equivalent weight of four to five grade five students. She's pretty heavy, but she's also pretty calm too. They're gentle giants. Our sows all have ear tags. This helps us keep track of the pig as she goes through her life. Along the floor here are their troughs. So they have access to fresh water all day long, every day. Their feed boxes are adjustable. We put feed into their feed box twice a day. You will also notice that the sprinklers are running. It gives the sow a little bit of a shower. And then with the airflow through, it helps keep her cool when it's really hot outside. In order to detect pregnancy in the pigs, we use an ultrasound and I just check right in their underbelly. Those black dots, those are all the little piglets that are growing inside. Once we know that they're pregnant, we move them to the gestation barn. Now we are in the gestation barn. Gestation is just another word for being pregnant. The sows are pregnant for three months, three weeks, and three days. This is the barn where the sows will live until they're ready to have their litter of piglets. We are now in the farrowing rooms. So this room of moms all had their babies within the last four to five days. These sows have an average of 13 to 15 live babies. When babies are born, they're two to three pounds. This guy was born yesterday. You can see he still has his cord and he is a very healthy birth weight. These tiny tags are the ones that they get when they're born. So the process is done the day that they're born and it's no different than getting an ear pierced. It helps us keep track of her and her family history and her own history coming up. When the sows farrow, we do move them into these farrowing crates. So the reason we do this is because we want to protect the piglets from potentially getting crushed by the mother. As you can see, she's quite a bit bigger than they are. And these bars protect her from flopping down on top of them or perhaps falling or stumbling and uh, potentially injuring the piglets. So she has a food um, area in front of her. She has a trough. She has water available to her at all times. The piglets have their warm area and this also allows her to stay in an area that's cooler than where the piglets are. Another reason we keep them in here is because mums can be protective and if we want to work at all with these piglets we don't want her to be injuring staff because she feels that her piglets are in danger. So when we want to handle the piglets, it's easier if she is in her own space, we can work with them. They're safe, she's safe, and we as staff are safe when we're working with them. When we are taking care of newborn piglets, we want to make sure that the room is nice and warm, that the mums are comfortable, and that the piglets have a warm place to sleep. They have a heat pad, and we also have 
a heat lamp hanging above them so that it gives them heat from above and from below. So each of the rooms on the farm has its own climate. Newborn piglets want that room to be 23 degrees. When they move to the nursery, they like that room to be 30 degrees. And then as they grow, that temperature lowers. This is a tool that helps us control the temperature, the humidity in the room, how fast the fans are going, and we can adjust those settings at any time to accommodate how old those piglets are in the room. When they move down to the nursery, we use these two tools. Piglets don't love noise, so if I want them to move forward, I shake it behind them, they will move forward. The chase boards we use because pig's sight isn't that great, so if they see a wall in front of them, they see it as I can't go that way and they will walk away from it. We put them into that pen right there. There is a scale actually in the floor of that pen. That gives us an average weight. So we get the readout here and we have it in this case to protect it from moisture. This is the group of piglets that we chased down the hallway earlier. Pigs have a dominance order and they like to have a pen boss and they fight and they scrap and they need to figure out what's going to happen in the pen according to their order. The pigs that win that battle and the pigs that are labeled the top dog of the pen, those are the ones that get to eat first, those are the ones that drink first, those are the ones that get everything first. This is their baby food. It, it has all the nutrition in it that they need. It's gonna help them to grow quickly so that they get to the next stage of feed. So these pigs have been in this barn for nine weeks. So they have already been through their baby food ration, their second ration, and they're on their third, which is preparing them to move to the finishing barn. Our pigs are fed with an automatic feed system. It fills each of these feeders with their ration. So this is what it looks like. It's finely ground grain formulated with vitamins, minerals, premixes, all the things that they need for every different stage of growth. All of our feed is formulated by a swine nutritionist. The pigs are 50 to 60 pounds or 11 weeks old. They move to our finishing barn. These pigs have food available to them all the time. They have water available to them all the time. So they have more opportunity to go and eat. So if there's a pen full of pigs, and say there's one that's maybe not as big or maybe not as aggressive, we don't have to worry about her getting a chance to eat because there's always food available and nobody eats all day long. So they will go and everyone has opportunity to eat when they need to. You'll see behind me, we've got fans running in the walls. So when it's hot out, there are inlets in the ceiling and these fans pull air from outside into the attic and then down into the barn which gives them a really nice breeze, which helps keep them cool. For manure management, of course, all pigs go to the bathroom. So we have slatted floors on top of a shallow pit. So there is a pit underneath here that is about three to four feet deep. And every two weeks, I pull the plug, we empty it, and it gets pumped into a, a lagoon that's outside. And then once a year, that manure is injected into the soil so you don't smell it, you don't even know that it's going on, and it provides the farmers with great fertilizer for their land. There's a lot of different people that help us to keep our farm running smoothly and our pigs healthy. Uh, we depend on our herd vet who comes in at least once a month to monitor their health. We have a swine nutritionist specializing in pig food we also have a production team uh, through our genetic company that helps me with any questions, concerns, or things that could be happening here. We also have staff that work at the barn helping with all the day-to-day -day tasks, and we really appreciate them. I think every single staff that we have here right now did not have any pig experience before they came to work for the farm. So it is something that you can learn easily and it's a really rewarding job and they enjoy it here a lot.
My name is Craig Swatsky and I am the owner here at Blue Ribbon Swine, located in southeastern Manitoba near Pansy. So we are a family-run farm, started in 1967 and was started by my grandpa and his three sons. And my dad joined the farm later on and now me, my two brothers and a cousin are running the hog side of the farm. We run 3,500 sows, fair to finish. And so that would include finishing up to approximately 85,000 pigs a year. Our pigs provide meat like bacon, ham, lunch meats. Pork is very nutritious. It's an excellent source of protein and can be used and prepared in an incredible amount of different ways. And it is the number one protein in the world. This barn here is the farrowing barn. So we have all the mamas. We raise the pigs until they're weaned. And once they're weaned, we bring them to a nursery barn. We, we purchase all of our feed and it's delivered into bins. And from there, it runs on a chain disc loop system to the individual feeders. We use RFID feeding in the farrowing house. The sows have a, a, an ID tag that will scan when they go to the feeder and that will automatically drop their feed for them. Our moms get about five pounds, five to six pounds of feed every day and a growing pig gets as much as he can eat. On our farm, the Maximus system controls pretty much everything on the farm. It regulates feed. We can track how much water is being used. It runs all of our ventilation. We use the software program for all of our data entry. I can track all of the information on my phone and have real-time access to my farm from anywhere. Animal welfare within the hog industry is very important. We try as hard as we can to give the animals the best conditions possible. We are in the business of raising animals to, to make a living. The important thing for raising a healthy pig is having clean air, clean water, and good food. And if you do all those things right, then you will should get a healthy, happy pig. So on our farm, there are lots of people involved who don't necessarily work here, but help the farm run on a day-to-day -day basis. People like our vet, our feed salesman, the people who deliver our feed from the feed mill, all the people who work at the feed mill making the feed. There are people that, uh, that work at the stores where I buy supplies. There are lots of people connected in this industry that I rely on every day. I really enjoy working with pigs. They are very, very smart. Pigs have an excellent sense of smell and an excellent sense of hearing, but their eyesight is not so good. They are a fun animal to, to raise and to, to deal with, and it, it provides some challenges, and is, it's just a, it's a good profession to be in.